So the FHA in 1938 in their underwriting manual, the underwriting manual is what real estate agents use to kind of uh, build on the practices of selling homes. Uh, they tell real estate agents to uh, have race restrictions. It's a prohibition of the occupancy of properties except by the race for which they are intended. What happened 50 years ago does impact the community. We are living with many decisions that were made 50 years ago. Let me give you an example. This is from the New York Times, August 17, 2021. Where they, where they define redlining. The term redlining, and I'm quoting this article, has become shorthand for many types of historic race-based exclusionary tactics in real estate, barring black residents from buying homes. This has been policy that was established. It's important for us to verbalize some of that history. And I uh, this comes from the Oleander community, subsection F. It says, no persons of any race other than the white or Caucasian race shall use or occupy any building or any lot, except that this covenant shall not prevent occupancy by domestic servants of different race domiciled with an owner or tenant. That is the type of language that has led us to this moment. And that is the type of language that we must continue to acknowledge, whether it makes us you know, uncomfortable or not.